Queen Elizabeth II died at the age of 96 at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, such a message appeared on Thursday afternoon on the website of the British The Guardian. However, a rebuttal soon came, the alarm is premature, Her Majesty is alive. The publication deleted the message. Buckingham Palace announced the deterioration of Her Majesty's health on Thursday afternoon, no details were given, it was only announced that the Queen was comfortable in Balmoral Castle in Scotland and that she was placed under medical supervision. However, local media have circulated insider statements, according to which it is worth preparing for the worst. In particular, former BBC royal correspondent Richard Sumner said that Her Majesty's body refuses her. The London Stock Exchange immediately reacted to reports of Elizabeth's deteriorating health, the leading FTSE 100 index immediately went down. The media also turned out to be pessimistic. The cap of the official BBC website changed color from red to black, the channel's correspondent went on the air in a gloomy black suit. The British press, without waiting for an official notification of the death of the monarch, began discussing the details of the London Bridge Plan, a special operation designed in advance in case of the Queen's death. Unlike previous reports about the Queen's ill health, for example, about coronavirus infection, Today's news immediately provoked anxious moods among Her Majesty's subjects. A crowd immediately began to gather at Buckingham Palace, they had already announced the cancellation of the traditional changing of the guard ceremony, onlookers pulled up to the perimeter of the Scottish Balmoral Castle. The seriousness of the situation was indicated by media reports that members of the royal family hurried to Scotland, to the sick queen. The first, according to the press, was the heir to the British throne, 73-year-old Prince Charles and his wife Camilla. The rest of Elizabeth's children, her grandchildren Prince William and Prince Harry also hurried to the castle, the latter went to his grandmother despite the ongoing family scandal. In April 2021, Harry, who refused royal duties and moved to the United States with his wife Meghan Markle, also visited Britain on a mournful occasion to attend the funeral of his grandfather, Elizabeth's husband Prince Philip, who passed away at the age of 99.